For their 2015 Season of Service project, Club Rainbow began a campaign to educate our classmates on gender. We followed them through the process of planning, creating, filming, and presenting, and even took part in the project ourselves. We were there every step of the way because we were also members of the club. We started by attending meetings and soon began planning pieces of media to assist in their project. As the project progressed, we became closer to the club advisor, Ms. Livson. Well, I'm the advisor for Club Rainbow. I've been the advisor for Club Rainbow uh, for 10 years now. This year, Club Rainbow has created an amazing video about gender diversity. They're gonna present this video and talk to the entire faculty at a faculty meeting and go to classrooms to present their video. The Season of Service project is extraordinary. The students have been working so hard focusing on uh, gender diversity. They've made an incredible video, have been working on their presentations. I am overwhelmed by their professionalism and their courage to bring this very serious topic to the school. I think the video is overwhelming. I think it's emotional and I think it's a tough topic. I think it'll rake open people's minds and ideas about what gender is and how we, as especially as adults, put gender in a box and close the lid on it. It's a video that will shift people's perception and their judgment and their assumptions about gender and about all the students here at this school. While the club filmed their video, we made posters and a small PSA to advocate for their project. We asked students and teachers various questions about gender identity in order to demonstrate the need for gender education in our school. What is gender? Your body parts? I don't know. It's the parts you have, right? I don't know. Um, no, I can't. I don't think I'm ready for this interview. I don't think I'm the right person. I don't know. Gender is male or female. Your sex? For me, I think it's, it identifies who you are on the outside. I guess it's whatever you associate by. We also attended the filming of Club Rainbow's Season of Service video, which will be shown in classroom presentations. Using name tags, they showed that people's identities might not always be what you see. I am who I am, I define me. The club also created informational pamphlets that sparked much discussion about gender. They passed them out in classrooms and to the public. Once all of the club's videos were done, it was time to prepare for presentations. First, Club Rainbow presented at a faculty meeting. Classroom presentations soon followed. And a lot of you are probably thinking, um, what can I do about this? How can I help my students? What you can do is start talking to your students. Ask them, what are your pronouns? What would you like to use? Um, do um, not talk to them about hate language, how you wouldn't accept that in your classroom. And listen out for it because it is a huge issue and transgender teens are often bullied in classroom and they are silenced by their peers. As we neared the end of the project, we sat down with the producers to discuss the experience. Well, I think the project has gone great. I think it's a success, and um, I'm really proud of what we've done for the club and the school so far. So, yeah. And, like, I also think that, like, it's not just educational, but it caused a lot of spark and a lot of talk. Like, people are asking questions about what this is. People are asking questions about, like, stuff they've never heard about, and I think it's good because, like, we're bringing something new to the table and I think people are really enjoying it and are really interested in what we have to say and have to offer. A lot of people have been really curious. I think we've really taught them a lot. We've given them a chance to talk about things that they haven't thought of or haven't felt comfortable discussing before. And we've just, I feel like we've taught a lot of people a lot of things. And I feel like this is like a turning point for many of the staff and students here at San Leandro High School. We have a Tumblr that we plan to continue updating, spreadinggenderinfo.tumblr.com. 
we also want to continue spreading education and whatnot, maybe work with the school a bit more, see what else we can do. Yeah, definitely, maybe even, you know, talk to the district, um, maybe, um, you know, start talking to teachers and parents and, you know, um, educating, you know, not just our school, but the community surrounding our school and, you know, making it a safer place for uh, people who are um, not, you know, binary male and female. And I hope not just people in San Leandro High like, get to see and experience it. And I hope that it spreads throughout this other schools across the country and it spreads to other staff across the country, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like that would be very meaningful to us. Like, as much as, like, we have the power to control the community here at San Leandro High School, we just hope that, like, other schools across the nation reach our message. And I'm Jamie. I'm Armaine. I'm Jessica. And we are the producers of I Am Who I Am, not Who You Think, think I, I Am. For more information, please visit spreadinggenderinfo.tumblr.com. In memory of...